Remember that difference quotient that you wrote in on page two? H was the distance, the horizontal distance between P and Q. If I have a formula for the secant, the slope of the secant line, and I really want instead the slope of the tangent line, I want to let P and Q get closer, which means I want H to get smaller, which means I want H to approach zero. So that's our technique for finding the slope of a curve at a point. It's the same as finding the slope of the tangent line at the point. I'm going to find the difference quotient, find the slope between two points, but let the distance between the points get closer and closer to zero. So this is the definition that goes in at the top of page three in your notes. It's a big deal. This is on the AP test. It's going to form the basis of the next two or three chapters that we study at least. So big deal here. This is the slope of the curve at point P. If you want to write the tangent line, an equation for the line tangent to the curve F at point P, we can use point slope form with this slope, this M value as the slope, and then the, two, the point, the X and the Y for the point. Before we practice finding, before we practice examples of how to find the slope of a function. We have to practice this notation first. This can be a little tricky. So just remember that if a function f of x is 1 over x, what does f of a mean? We're going to take what's inside the parentheses, right? That's going to be the input to the function, and we're going to replace all the x's with a. So f of a, in this case, would be 1 over a. And if I wanted to find f of a plus h, that's 1 over a plus h. So stop the video here and practice the rest on that uh, page three in your notes. Here's the example on page three. I've been asked to find the slope of the function f of x equals negative 16 x squared at the point where x equals five. So I'm gonna use my new definition. I'm gonna take the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And I've been told here that the x value I care about, that's my a, is going to be five. So what does it mean to f a plus h in this case? Well, it's what we just practiced in, a, a second ago. I need to take a plus h and square it and multiply by 16. So in this case, 5 plus h is getting squared and multiplied by negative 16. f of a is just going to be negative 16 x squared with 5 plugged in. We talked the last slide about making sure that if I need to square 5 plus h, I'm going to write 5 plus h times 5 plus h. It takes four multiplications. As you can see I expanded that here. And I can do the algebra up in the numerator until I get to this place, negative 160h minus 16h squared all over h. I'm trying to take the limit as h goes to 0. If I plug in 0 right now, I have a problem. I'm going to have a 0 in the denominator. But I'm going to carry on. I can factor out that h. Once I can factor out and cancel the h, I can plug in my 0 for h, and I get an answer of negative 160. So I would say that the slope of y equals negative 16 x squared at x equals 5 is negative 160. My next job is to write the equation for the tangent line. What do I need to write the equation of a line? I need the slope which I just figured out was negative 160, and I need an ordered pair. I know the x that was given, x is going to equal 5. I need the y that goes with that x. So I'm going to plug my x value 5 into my formula, negative 16x squared, to get the y value. So now I have my ordered pair. I can use my slope of negative 160 and write the equation for the tangent line.